Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3.0. Today's episode, episode number 20, is going to be about wither skeletons. We are going to modify our little mob grinder, or mob farm, dark room, slash whatever you want to call it, to a wither skeleton producing, wither head, wither skeleton head producing mob farm. We are going to go crazy with it today. And we're probably going to overpower my mob farm, so I'm... I don't know what I'm going to do with all this stuff. But we'll figure that out on another episode. All right. First things first. Let's get to the um, inventory and what we need for today's episode. Okay. Here's what I got so far for today's episode. I think this is going to be it. This is going to be for vector plates plus uh, some stone. Um, actually, let's go ahead and build this thing real quick. I want to build another well. I didn't build it online with the, in the last episode or two episodes ago. And I want to build this myself because these things are cool. These are infinite water sources or wells that you can just make and you plop it down and now you have infinite water, which we're going to need some water here. So you just take your bucket and you can fill it with water and there you go, you got water. While I'm at it, let's turn this sucker off. That's much better. I like quieter now. There we go. Even even better. And these are for vector plates, I said. And we're going to get to a little bit. Oh, while we're thinking about it, this is witch water. And I made the witch water with mycidian, I believe it's called, dirt. Um, basically, you get ancient spores from sieving sand, and here's the ancient spores right here. They're the purple-looking things, and you just place it on a dirt block, and it gives you mycidian. And then you take a barrel and fill it with water, and next thing you know, you got witch water. It's really that simple. It doesn't take that long to make. So I've got two buckets of it. That's all I need for today's episode. And what's cool about the witch water is it changes mobs. It, like a skeleton will change into a um, wither skeleton, a creeper, a charged creeper. Uh, I'm not sure if it changes anything else, but I'm sure it does. So it's a really, really cool thing to have. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm looking at my map. I have no mobs left in there. I'm going to go ahead and break this off and break this off. And I think the safest way to up there will be through this little hole here. So I'm going to go up this way. Let's go ahead and put some of the stuff in here. I don't want to carry all that. And get some ladders. Let's take about half those, see if that's going to be enough. And I'm done. Whoops, put one on the wrong side. Let me break that one off. Where's my, there you go. I don't know if it'll work or not. I guess I could have tried it. And one up there. There you go. And while you're hitting shift, you can walk on these vector plates. If you let go of shift, it's gonna move you. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit vein miner while I'm holding shift. And there we go, we got all those picked up. Now, <coughs> Excuse me. This is three high. And I did that because I needed Enderman. But now I have so many Ender Pearls. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to go ahead and make this two high. So we're going to get rid of this, this layer here. And then we're going to get rid of the roof. And let me get let me get this layer out of Actually, we can get rid of the roof real quick. Oh, wrong key. Invade Miner. Our roof is done. <laughs> so let me go ahead and get this level here taken care of. And we'll be right back. All right, I got that top layer all done. Next thing I want to do is I am going, oh, let's talk about this platform real quick. Right now, the inside is two by 17. So it's two by 17 on the inside. On the outside, it's four by 19. Okay, so that is my dimensions of this little platform that I have, in case you want to follow along. And yes, yeah, eight this way, plus this one, eight that way. So that's 17, plus the two walls, that makes 19, two wide plus the two walls makes four. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take out two of these and I'm going to leave one and I'm going to take out two and I'm going to do that all the way down this wall and then I'll be right back. Okay, and now I have the walls all the way down. What I'm going to do is I don't want spider spawning. So everything is going to be too wide. There's not going to be a three wide area anywhere. Um, I'm probably overkilling it, but definitely don't want spiders. They'll just clog up the system. Plus also I don't want... Um, Endermen, they'll clog up the system. So that's why it's definitely got to be too high everywhere. And now I am going to go ahead and start laying these blocks down. And I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and go all the way across one row, and then I'll be right back with a special treat. Actually, it's a wand. I just want to show you the wand. The wands are incredibly cool. All right, be right back. All right, before I go any further, I'm going to show you two things. We've talked about them before. One is the diamond wand, which is so cool. I love my diamond wood. And the other one is going to be the chisel. And to make the chisel and the diamond one, the chisel is real simple. It's just a diamond on a stick. If you don't have a diamond, go ahead and use a uh, 
iron on a stick it's really good but the chisel the, the, this one lasts a lot longer it's well worth it now while we're also talking about we also got the wand the diamond wand which is you can make that also with a iron bar but here's the diamond bar it's just two sticks in a diamond so it's really really cheap and it really does make your uh, bills go a lot quicker the diamond wand covers a lot more distance now, i believe there's a trick or two i don't know anything about them but if you do i'll be happy to listen to it but right now i'm going to use this diamond wand. see it goes all the way down it's really incredible um, i'm going to go ahead and go back eight and then one more for the wall you can do whatever you like whatever you please for some reason i always get stuck on eight because that's the number of blocks that water goes and so i've always used the number eight so let me get this real quick and then i'll be right back again all right, I now have the platform basically laid out. I need to put my walls now on the sides. I don't have anything lit up. As long as I don't leave this area, I should be okay because mobs can't spawn within like 23 blocks or so. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in this area here and get my walls done. And am I running out of blocks? Yes, I am. Let me go ahead and show you how this chisel works so cool. Just right-click on the chisel while it's right here. Just put your cobblestone in. I mean, it's so simple and so easy. It's the... God's gift to us in chisels. So yeah, make sure you, you have these chisels. Now I could use the wand here. I don't know which is quicker. It's just, yeah, methodical. But let me go ahead and get this done real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I got all the exterior walls all done. Now we're gonna put these interior walls and basically we're gonna bring these all the way back to that wall there. All right, let me go ahead and lay these out real quick. Oh, I need some more, some more stone. Let me go ahead and lay these out real quick and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. I'll be right back. All right, I have all the walls are two by two, two by eights, and then if you count the end, it's nine more. So yeah, I see it's going to be. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. And it goes all the way down there. So basically, I got let's see six chambers here, three on either side, and mobs to spawn here. And we're going to use the vector plates to move them all up here in front. And we'll get to that later. Um, just go ahead and I guess the next thing we can go start doing. Actually, I need to do the top. So you see, I don't have my stone on me. We are going to go ahead and do half slabs. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out. And I have some half slabs right here. So it's going to go up. And this is really simple because of the magic wand. It's going to make some more real quick with my handy dandy crafting table on a stick. It's going to do that. We'll do two of these. There you go. That should be plenty. There we go. And I need this down here. There we go. And let me go over here and start placing these. And I'll show you why our handy day, or now, or why this is going to be so easy because of our lovely wand. Thank you so much. Our wand 2000. The ultimate wand in diamond efficiency. All right, let's get this last one here. And now we just take our magic wand and put it back here. And voila. And all this at one blow real quick. Let's get out of the way. There we go. So now all this is all taken care of. This is all going to be covered up and it's all too high. So nothing higher than two can spawn in here like Enderman, which is fine. Because I have enough Ender Pearls again. And get that done. And a magic wand. Now when I'm coming this way, I'm going to leave three blocks in the center open. Let's see. I'm going to stop here, so I think i got one more. So one, two, three, yep. Let's jump across that and do another set. Now, the the big challenge here is when the wither skeletons spawn. Well, skeletons are too high, right? So when a wither skeleton spawns, it turns into, I believe, two and a half high. So we have to make a spot for them to actually... There we go, let's go here. Is that right? One, two, three, yep. And then I'm going to put some here. Yep, there we go. It's going up here. So right here, this is going to be two and a half high. And I'm not going to cover, I'm not going to put a half slab there. I'm going to make it a little bit higher. There we go. And same thing here. Yeah. So when they spawn, because I'm going to put witch water down there. And I'll show you how that works in just a few minutes. We're going to put witch water down there and then they're going to convert into wither skeletons and then I'm going to have them float up and out and you'll see how that works in just a second. Let's go ahead and let's see how I want to do the next part. Let's see. Let's do this real quick. 
I should have broken that off. All right, I need this, and then I want this here, here, and here. And let's see. Okay, we'll come on up. We'll come on up here, and I'm going to break it right here. There we go. So, can I jump up? Yep, there we go. And put that there, there, and there. There, I like different blocks. I, for some reason, I'm putting these on the corners. I don't know. Don't ask me why. Let's see. Dot, dot, dot. And see, that's going to be one high, so we need two high. I think that's all I need. I think I need to put slabs at this part. Let's go ahead and put our um, signs down, and I'll show you what we need to do next. All right, I got my signs here. Yep. Can take those out that here for now put another one just in case I've got a bucket pocket a bucket of water a pocket of water all right so let's go ahead and start talking about these signs so let me go ahead and break this down and I'm gonna make another way up to the roof just go here I just use my pick there we go oh my pick got upgraded you're now customized the weight of the iron I don't know what it might just be a new modifier all right so we're gonna go here and here so now I can walk up if I need to. Okay, good. Back down. All right, so let's go ahead and put our vector carpets. Where I have some of this. I'm going to upgrade. These are green right now. I don't know if you can see. If you put them in here, it turns them to yellow. So I'm going to do all those. Now, if I put it in a gear, it would turn this to red, but I don't need red. The, it goes really, really quick. Yellow is fast enough, trust me. And let's go ahead and put one of these down here. Is it this way? No, it's... Is it this way? Let's see. No, it's this way. It's this way. No, nope, I was wrong. Okay, we'll go this way. There we go. Let me break this one. And this one. And when you walk across them, you hit shift, they won't move you. So shift is your, your key here with working with these. And I'm going to leave that one blank for now. But we are going to have it pushing into that hole later. All right, so here is the thing. This is a block. So if I put it, I can't put a sign right here. All right, let me go ahead and put a sign. That way it explains it. Sign there, and I'm going to hit Shift and do it again. Right-click and just hit another sign. And then Escape, hit Shift, right-click, Escape. Okay, and then I need to put one here. Escape. All right, so basically, let me show you how the water goes. You put the water right here, and this block holds it from pouring this way. These signs hold it on either side, and this vector carpet holds it down there. So it will stay right here. Now, I'm not going to put water in here later. I'm actually going to put the witch water right here. So when the skeleton comes through, it's going to hit the witch water. It's going to grow. That's why we have it higher right here. And then it's going to hit water, which is going to be at this level here. And then it's going to lift up. Because they lift up when they hit the water. All right. I am going to do the same signage on this side real quick. So we got one there. Is that, let's see. Yeah, one there and one here. Okay. Shift. There we go. And then put one here. And then we'll test it, make sure it's right. There we go. Looks good. And then we're going to also put one more water level up here. Let's see if I have everything ready for that. Let's see. I need to put... Oh, it should be ready, right? Let's see. I don't want to go down. Let's go up above and look at it. Let's go down over here. Hit shift and walk through. There we go. I am becoming a master of that. All right. Let's see. I also need... A way up to this. Now, if I put water right here, I believe it's also set and ready. Oh, right. Actually, it's right where I was standing. Yep. And I'm about to die if I'm not careful. I probably won't die, but. Alright, so water will go that way. Yes, yes, yes. So they'll come up and they'll flow into that direction. Actually, is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Actually, no, it's not. I want to put one more slab right here. There we go. Let's try this one more time, because I don't want to do it that way. Because it's too soon. Too soon. Too soon. We went too far. All right, so now if I put the water, it should stop right here. There we go. That's what I want. And we're going to put one more sign up here, right here. And hit shift, put another sign right here. We're going to build this level one more higher. Yes, this is it. And other stone. I'm done with the signs. Okay. 
And let me go down and get some more water. I'll show you the last part of this part. To our well. Thank you very much. I could have gone that way, but that's okay. Hit shift. I need one more to get up higher. Let's go here. I don't think that'll work. I don't think that'll work. There we go. If I can get over to it. Yep. And now we're going to put one more. Actually, we need one more sign. We need one more right here, I believe it is. So when it flows here, it'll stop and won't go past that. So hit click that. There we go. And then what mobs? They'll float up to here and then they'll go down. That is the whole key. Yes, yes, yes. And we have one half. So that should be everything we need in heights. So I'm going to go ahead and top this off with half slabs. I don't think I need to go any higher. We'll see. Because I'm seeing two and a half. Is that right? See, there's a half right there. One, two. So that should be plenty. That should get them right where we want them. All right. I believe I'm done up here. Let me clean this up. I'm going to hit F7, make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't see, up. Oh, there's one, but that's okay. I expect that. We're good here. I believe I'm done at the top. I hope I explained it well enough, because we're not going back. Two, three, there we go. And as long, again, as long as I don't leave this little area, nothing should spawn, so we should be safe. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the witch water where I showed you the water is. And just to show you, if I hit, if I'm like a mob, I will float, and I'll go up. And that's the whole idea, but I'm not going to do it because I don't want to die right now. Because I haven't finished the other side. I don't think I'd die, but okay. We need to do vector plates, so let me go ahead and get those made real quick. And what we need is slime balls and sugar and... I need to light up this outside area. Let's go ahead and make 15 sugars. And we're going to add it to the ones that we already have. Yeah, I did it the long way. And slime balls and some stone. Nope, I got this backwards. Here we go. And we're going to put those here, and then we're going to put them back in to make them a little bit faster. Yeah, these are vector plates. These are fast vector plates. There we go. And let's see if I can clean up my inventory just a little bit before we go anywhere. I'm going to need this stuff in just a minute. There we go. Done with the signs. Go ahead and put vector plates there. I'm done with that. There we go. All right, let me lay out the rest of these vector plates real quick before I mess up here. Hit shift. Let me lay out shift and walk past it, Greg. There we go. Let me lay out the rest. Actually, let me show you some real quick. I'll show you the first one real quick. Basically, it's... Whoops, not that one. Of course I'm going to mess up on the first one. There we go. And then we're just going to go back until the very back. And then when I get to the back, I'm just going to hold shift. All right, I'm, whoops, I was too far over. There we go. I'm hitting shift now, just in case. And shift, shift. All right, now if I let go, watch this. Whee! That's so cool. All right, let me do the rest of these real quick, just like this, and I'll be right back. All right, I believe I have all my vector plates except for one done. So we are at the point, we're almost ready to go. Just remember, number one rule, don't leave this area right now until you are done because if you leave there is a lot of mob spawning going to happen and you were not quite ready for that yet let's put a torch out here i don't know why it got lit up let's put one there we go all right what did i say we're, oh we're going to work on the outside real quick we're going to drop this on down where is my axe there you go i don't need this stuff here And now we're going to drop this one down and make it where we can actually kill the mobs. Let's see if I can jump that eye. There we go. And we will bring it down to one more. And I'm going to go ahead and put a temporary block here. We'll show you how that works in just a minute. So basically, mobs, what the, the, what the plan is is the skeletons, the, uh, wither skeletons, will be pumped up and be come down this way. 
in the front and everything else will drop down here in the back like they used to. Um, some things will get through and that's okay and some skeletons will go through this way but the majority of them will be split up. Will be split up. Alright, so let's see, what do we want to do? Get the witch water. And we'll break our 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 ladder. So just going up here and we'll lay this witch water. Now we will get withered effect if we touch this stuff. So I don't have any milk with me, but one way to handle this is milk. I think I poured it here. So once they hit this, they'll go that way. And I'm going to point it here. That way, if anything does hit the witch water, it kind of like pushes it this way. That way it doesn't automatically go down the hole real quickly. So I don't know if it matters or not. So I'm going to put that witch water there. And we're going to put this witch water right here. So it's flowing this way. And now we just have to put this last vector carpet in. Where'd y'all go? Where are the last vector? There, it's right here next to me. I'm going to hit shift and just go ahead. And that, So the last one's going to point us into here. And we're all set and ready to go there. Let me go ahead and break out these ladders. We don't need them anymore. Alright. And let's go ahead and put this stuff back, which we took out originally. And this will kill the mob. This will get the stuff in there. And you see, I need some more blocks again. Let's put that one there. I'm not sure which one I want. All right, so now we need one more right here. Let's put this one right here. I'm going to change this to glass later, I think. And I'm going to put one right here. Okay, now we're going to break this one, this one, this one, and this one. So the wither skeletons will fall down here, stand right here, and we'll just be able to kill them. That's the plan. And I think it's ready. Fingers are crossed. Just walk away. <laughs> and see what spawns. Hopefully this thing works. Dun dun dun. Alright, I should be about 25 blocks away. I'm, they're already spawning. I'm not sure what that was. We can look on our mini-map. Sorry, that's the wrong button. And actually, it's, that's a zombie that just fell in there. But we can actually watch them here. Okay, there you go. They're actually in here. These up front are going to be the wither skeletons, hopefully. Not anything else. There might be a mixture of zombies and other stuff in here, but most of it should be wither skeletons. And the ones standing here are just disappearing. Those are the regular mobs that are falling down the chute. Alright, so within that few seconds, we have a lot of, of stuff already here. Let's see what we got. And they're loud. And these are all wither skeletons. They're all well. There's a zombie in there. Most of them is wither skeletons. There we go. Now this sword that we made in last episode is not doesn't have much durability, but it does have the high beheading, so we should be able to get some heads out of this. All right. You see how many we get with this batch real quick. Almost done. One more. There we go. And you see if we got any heads. No heads here. No heads there. Did I use I used the wrong sword? I used the wrong sword. Why didn't someone tell me? Why didn't someone tell me I was using the wrong sword? Let's try this one more time. And while I wait for him this time, yeah, I like watching it. Let's see. M. I want to clean my inventory, but I don't I get too excited. Oh, there they go. It's amazing how fast those vector plates move them. Alright, there's one in there now, and these two are going to die. Those are all going to die. Oh, there comes another one. So, yeah, we, we're getting them. We're getting them. Let me clean my inventory real quick, and then we'll go over there and kill them. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. It looks like there's four, but there's a lot more in there than four. So, let's go ahead and see what we can get this time. Using the right, the right sword, our cleaver. Let's see, what, there's a lot of them there. And, yeah, there's a zombie. But as you see, most of these are the wither skeletons. And we could, should be able to. I was wondering why it was taking so long to kill them last time. Because it should kill the zombie in one hit, basically. There we go. I think it has to warm up. There we go. Got one more. And you see what we got this time. We got two heads here. Do we got any here? We got three heads all together in that little time period. So, yeah, this thing works. It works great. I am very happy. Yay! Yay me. 
All right, one thing I said that was really bad about this sword right now is the durability on it is really, really poor. But you know what? It's not a problem. Not a problem when you have all this this already laid out. You see, I need not mana still. We need this purple right here. There we go. We'll just take all that real quick. And whenever your sword breaks, all you have to do is take it back to the, close this, to your little station over here. Let's show you real quick. And let's go to the right one. There we go. I got all this Esther stuff in here. You put your sword right in the middle. Put your metal right here. And your sword is repaired. It's that simple. We have a nice new sword. Just go ahead and put this stuff back in here. I don't need it. Filling up my inventory. And let's see if we have anything else over here. I put some glass in here. That way you can see what's going on a little bit better. And yeah, I got nothing. I just left here literally a second ago. So I, I figured that was one kill him. And I got a head. There we go. We got a head here. There we go. We got another wither skeleton there. And I've only been over here once since I left. So now we have... We still have seven heads. All right, two or two quick thoughts before we go. And I'm going to show you one thing. One is if you're not going to sit here and you don't need these, you can take these punji sticks and just lay them right here see if I can get it. Well, I don't think that'll work. Um, but you can put punji sticks and it'll automatically kill the mobs as they come down. So you don't have to be here. And yeah, again, we're going to have to figure out a way of storing all this stuff. Let's try this another way. That way I don't have to waste your time any longer than I have to. There we go. And just put punji sticks right here. Maybe I can't put, well, darn it, I can't put punji up. We'll see what happens with those. All right, you can put punji sticks. I can put that solid block in there and put punji sticks, and that will kill that. Two, my uh, cleaver, it, it, it doesn't last too long. And after a little, I already just got one modifier on it. I can add one more modifier. Now, do we add a durability, or do we add more beheading to it? We would get it up to beheading eight. So we have to get it up to, and then we have next level. It says 227 over 1,000. That's the next time we'll probably get a modifier. So what should you we do? Leave it in comments below. Should I reinforce it, or should I add another beheading to it and just use this as a beheader? And, you know, we'll leave the sword over here, and whenever we want to behead stuff, we'll use it. We'll build a better sword for other things. It's your decision. Let me know. Boo, boo. <laughs> I'm a wither skeleton. Ah! <laughs> yeah, we have heads for days now. We have updated our mob farm. Yeah, now I have to figure out another storage system. I got to figure out one for the chickens. Now I got to figure out one for our mob farm. Because we're going to get so many drops from this. Yeah, uh, yeah. So many bones, so many arrows, so many stuff that we just don't need. But we will figure that out in another episode. If you saw something you like, please make sure you like, please, please, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. It's been fun, it's been real, and it has been real fun. We'll see you next time, my friends. Bye. Ah! <laughs> see you later.